Hello there, welcome to Rimble Poseidon Zone Alpha 9 Episode 2. And I have to make a big thing. First of all, it's back. EDB interface, it's back. So we've got the nice uh, guys up here. We've got power cut, apparently. We've got the guys, the uh, icons are back as well. Um, and where's it hiding? Uh, the interface, interface. When I click on something like that, the buttons are here now. Hall and Hunt and Mine, they're all back. All the little bits that made it uh, a little bit more useful. So great! I do like these little guys up here though. Hello. Little egg look like that. Okay, okay. Let's see what we're doing. We're going to finish off the little refrigerated area. So let's get these guys up and running. Come on, guys. Get you some beds anyway. We need to get you some rooms as well so you're not. Uh... Yeah, you finish up building later. Make sure you're not just sat in these rooms by yourself. We need to get you some proper bedrooms up and running. Sooner rather than later, I think, would be a good idea. Uh, what's our food situation like anyway? We're down to five rations, so yeah, we need to get the food going faster. So we're gonna somebody gonna haul that food for us. Actually, I'm gonna take the opportunity now. I will stockpile, set up here for food. So clear all. Preferred priority, foods and where are you hiding? Medicine. There we are. Medicine. Herbal. Just keep all the uh, things can go off in one place. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Happy with that. There's a lot of strawberries being produced for the cooking. Good, good. We actually are cooking as well. Straight into there. Three meals. What we? What's our bill set to anyway? Twenty. Okay, we don't need twenty. I probably did over that a bit. Uh, let's take that down to. But we got three people, so we'll say six meals. Keep it at six meals, that'll give us enough for our our three colonists, two days worth of uh, food. Let's get these guys finishing off the construction. They are building uh, thing out of sandstone wall, so we can have a bit of uh, nice. Does it, does, it check, does it say anything about the coal? Nope. Doesn't say anything about the uh, insulation of these walls, because the walls will now leak heat as well. What's that, an auto door? Okay. And that should be an auto door as well. It is. Do we have the power set up to go through that? I honestly can't remember what we did. Yes, we do. We need, we do need more power, but we need it mostly in a battery form. So could you build me a battery, please? Where are you going? That's not too far. Do, 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 do. Okay, we've got a group visiting. Well, welcome. Visit. Just don't eat our food. And the battery. There we go. We are now charging the battery, and we should be able to get through the night and keep our food refrigerated. I'm going to set the refrigerator down to m minus two and we have a heat wave. Okay, we got a heat wave, we've got to watch out for that. I'd like to get the fridge up and running as fast as possible. Uh, let's turn that back on. We're going to need the uh, bedrooms uh, cooling down, which we have the power for now, so that's not a problem. What do we set this to anyway? 21. Okay, I'm happy with that. 21 is well within the range. Yeah, it's getting hot down here, mate. You need to uh, get yourself a little bit better off somewhere. Somewhere that's not so hot. 38 degrees. Let's keep an eye on the uh, health bar. If anyone gets hurt, we'll send them back home. Yeah, you're very tired now. I'm glad you're actually there because you're tired, so you can... Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? A mysterious black destroyed our crop, but that was a lot of... Okay, so when they put food on the ground to eat, they uh, make a noise that sounds like a fight. Okay. That panicked me a little bit, just a little bit. Ugh. What's the uh, power situation like? Not brilliant. You gonna turn that off? No, it's alright, it's at low power anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll leave it as it is. We're gonna, the bedroom's gonna start getting warm in a very short space of time. But it is still cool outside anyway, so that's not too bad. Let the sun come up, get the solar power panel charged, and get our research into, into place. Daniel's getting up to eat, and we are at five meals. So that's good. We are actually not doing too bad. Let's get the uh, fridge off. We get the refrigerator completed. We need an extra power supply, really. So I'm going to request that now. Pow power. Actually, how far off are we on the geothermal? That's what's smelting geothermal. We need to do geothermal soon, but we don't have that option yet. So another solar power plant there. 
and a power cable to it. There. Go. Build me more solar power. Wow, you are very hot now. Are you, uh, health? Okay, you're not uh, having anything to do with uh, heat stroke yet, but we are very hot. Okay, can you get the refrigerator up and running? The freezer? There we go. Right now, this room should start cooling down. 46, 45, 44. Great, it's going down. It is very, very hot right now. Daniel is doing a lot of work in here. 50 degrees Celsius. That's way too hot for you, mate. Alyssa's, uh, yeah. Oh, good, you're inside. You should actually be experiencing lower temperatures. Gonna we'll need to get some uh, places to sit and eat as well. Up and running. Um, then you'll be able to sit in the. I'm gonna put the sitting and heating places up here when we move the uh, beds out, I think. Yes. Alex is uh, getting our metal work. Could you work on the blueprint, please? Go get us that up and running. We get that up and running, we have enough power to run both of the refrigerators. Keep the places cool. You really are struggling to get this place cooked down to a reasonable temperature, though. Um, this is a new uh, method because all the walls now vent heat as well. Do any of these let us know that? Uh, toggle visibility zones. No, okay, that's just zones. Uh, beauty is fair enough. Uh, that one is um zones, and that one is. Oh, okay, that's just a more detailed version of that. Okay, so nothing to show us where the heat's being lost at the moment. But I assume we'll get that at some point soon. And power! We have more power. More power than we know what to do with right now. Although we're probably going to use it for something like keeping the room cool. Although that one we can now turn off. Before you do that, Alyssa, could you just turn that off, please? There you go. <clears throat> That's just, uh, we don't need that on anymore because the, the heat wave has gone. We should be focused on keeping the food from spoiling. Right now. This refrigerator is holding two degrees. It is just having so much trouble trying to keep the uh, room cool. We have an airlock, but that's uh, not going to not brilliant for keeping the heat where it is. Um, well, we just have to live with the food the way it is. We've got it's frozen, won't spoil. Oh, we're down to minus one, and we got uh, all these here. So they they all freeze at zero. I bet it's nice to have some food that freeze at lower temperatures. So, what are you doing hauling something? Silver. Fair enough, I'm happy with that. Right, very first thing we need to do now, stop people getting a little bit annoyed, we give them their own rooms. So let's get uh, sandstone blocks and let's get some small rooms set up for them. That's a door. Sandstone blocks, let's get some bedrooms up and running. Uh, we'll spread them out a little bit as well so that uh, the one near this over here, one there, on there, that would be good. But they have to cool them separately. Yeah. Okay, we'll do them up here, and there'll be a little housing block somewhere, probably doo -doo 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 -doo. over here. We'll have recreation and research and stuff, communications, uh, production, food and eating, and over here we'll have housing. So, whoop, number one, housing, 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 housing. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, uh, let's just do that. Pause so they don't go building it in the meantime. And one, two, three, just need small rooms for them to have. Just little little rooms, just to get them in their own little rooms for now. Two, three. Do three by threes. There we go. Well, that just turned up just nicely, didn't it? So do three by threes, like that. And... Then... A little corridor. Like that. So that we can have another three by three on this side if you need it. Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. And we want sandstone doors. And they will be placed there. And there, one either side, so they can get in and out really quickly. And one in either of their rooms. And then, what's our wood situation like? We have very limited wood. So I'm going to build wooden beds in each of these rooms. So furniture, wooden beds, because they are the comfiest. Like that, and then we'll we'll, rec we'll we'll recover the wood from these beds here. There we go. First, the room is coming online. In fact, uh, one second. Geothermal, 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 geothermal. Go. 
before they do that, I'm going to cancel that one. And I'll put a temperature controller in place. There. That way we've got to, to keep the corridor cool, the bedrooms will be cool naturally. Right, so the, yeah, we're really having trouble keeping this room uh, cool. I mean, look, it's, I'm going to see what happens when this guy goes out. Daniel goes out, it's seven, suddenly shoots up to six. Okay. That didn't really have the effect I was expecting to have. And that bill is... Yeah, it's got a decent range on that bill. Nothing much room in the range, so I'll stop doing that in a minute or two. Uh, we are going to need more wood, so I'm just going to cut down that tree. Well, the cactus, technically. And we'll get the guys into their own bed as soon as we can. Come on, guys. How about you make yourself a new bed? So when we've done that, we have this making a little mini prisoner room as well. More growing, more eating, more food. Uh, let's start looking at some other growing zones, actually. Growing zone. Just here. I'd like a strip of... Uh, yeah, potatoes. We haven't got any potatoes in place at the moment. And I'm also going to come over here. And have a zone. A growing zone. Uh, here. Way out the way. Of trees. Just to keep the wood supply up. There we go. And I'll put it out of the way so no one can use it as cover. Because that's why I want to give people more cover. And it is a fair distance away, but it's, uh, it's it's doable. As long as it's not in too hot a condition. Uh, food supply is not bad at all. We do need a place for people to eat that's not on the floor. And there we go, the trees are going in now. You're actually chopping down a tree to put a tree in place. Okay, chopping down a bush to put a tree in place. Or whatever it was you were doing. Ooh, got some egg arrow pea as well. I'm going to actually ask for that to be uh, harvested, if possible. Because egg arrow is a pretty nice food. And it's there as well, ready for us to go. Okay, now we have a cluster of cargo pots in the area. Uh, we have, ooh. Drumery meat. Drumery. Yeah, it's meat. Right next to some of these. So it's meat, and it's, it's a long way away. Looks like we're going for a run tonight, people, because I do want some of this stuff, so I'm going to forbid all of that and then send a team of people out there to grab it. Now, if we just head over here, grab everybody, I don't care who you are or where you are, right at the moment, recruit. Where's that meat? No. There it is. Go there. So I don't care who you are or where you are, I want you over here, grab this meat, we'll take as much of it back as we can. And then we'll make everything over here as off limits. Right, Daniel. We haul the meat. Alyssa. Haul the meat. And Alex. Haul that meat. And then we'll make all these as off limits again. There we go. And we have something else over here the more steel and more silver. There we go. All off limits because it's too far away. But we have meat now, and the meat is actually important because what it means is I can uh, set up a bill for a fine meal. We'll have exactly three because we have three people. And where are you heading? Fine meal. The fine meal will be a, the fine meal will be a higher priority than the simple meal. So we'll keep them around. That's what the meats will be for. We'll use the meats to produce fine meals. There we go. And that the fine meals will actually help people out. And we use all the meat for fine meals and all the veg for simple meals. That way it keeps a nice supply. We don't end up running out of meat. There we go. And we have our three fine meals. And then people can uh, happily eat them. Now I'm going to quickly put down a furniture, uh, a short wooden table, just here. Uh, so we have a wall there. there. Put it there with wooden stools there and there and there and there. Then later on we can put a wall up here, across here and down here, and this will become a nice little uh, feeding place for them. But they can eat in inside. But right now it's on the outside. It'll be fine. Everyone's sleeping. I would actually appreciate it if you could build this bed and walls go. Build the bed, build the walls. No. 
Which is actually finish off the construction order when you give them it, if there's no material there. Let's get the first person in here, out of the way of everybody else. No, where are you going? Go there. Get these rooms finished. We'll do a manual, bit of manual, manual priority. Prioritizing. Okay, looks like we have a group of pirates attacking immediately. That group of pirates is one co pirate, pirate called Barry. Hello, Barry. Carrying what look of it, a knife. A shiv. Okay, we have a scary person with a shiv. And he's a long way away, so let's just let him get closer. Do 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 Bump, bump, bump. Alright, we should have brought Alyssa in a little bit earlier. But Alyssa, run to there. Daniel with your Lee Enfield, run to there. Alex with your knife, run to there. I don't really want you near the fight, but uh, you are going to be. So, not much we can do about that. Alyssa's on the way. Alyssa to there. Do, 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 do. Okay, Daniel, I need to stand in the open because he's uh, coming around. What's your shooting range anyway? He's about to enter your range. Alyssa can go stand there. Alex, quite frankly, can go inside because you don't have a weapon that can fight from long range. Here comes Barry. Wow, you're actually attacking the door. Come on, there we go. Barry down, Barry down. Right, we have Barry. Is he worth capturing? Character. Okay, he's incapable of caring or social, which means he can't doctor or warden, or, and phone calls will be pretty bad, so he can't do them. But he is a hard worker, a cold lover, and a pessimist. Now, the pessimist is a pretty bad thing, actually. But in general, that's not bad. I will actually recruit this guy. We need the extra manpower. We have just got a bed, so we can actually uh, dismantle those, put them outside, and... Uh, making for inside so we make this one a prisoner bed yep and if we prioritize construction of these beds quickly with, uh, and alex can capture and then you can go get yourself some food no i'm pretty sure i said can do that oh you gotta put more material okay we'll construct it that's your bed now right now we have an injured person and we have doctors Alex and Alyssa are doctors, and Barry is going. Oh, Barry, Barry is going to get uh, recruiting in there, and we won't do medicine unless he gets an infection. Because I believe that's probably the best way to deal with it. Now, Alyssa is coming in to deal with him. There we go. Just patching him up. In fact, let's make that a prisoner medical bed, and we have some travellers passing by. Uh, it's a prisoner medical bed, so that should increase the likelihood of good medicine. Uh, can somebody heal? He needs healing, right? Uh, health. Right leg was shot off. Oh, well, we have to install a peg leg then, won't we? So, Barry, welcome. Um, let's get your loyalty up first. Let's look at your health. Not health. Uh, prisoner? No. Forts. There we go, forts. Let's get that fort level way up, and then we'll decide whether or not to give you a, a leg. So, get, get the guy some food. Don't give him a... Good, good, good. Right, now he has a shiv, which is virtually useless to us. And... Where are you going? Oh, you're putting some more trees down. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. That means we've got some trees up there. Our food supply is pretty decent, actually. Uh, you're making... Okay, why are you making... Ah, okay. I'm betting because under cooking, I have Alex as our primary cook. Alex is there. Why are you making a simple meal when we have meat and we have veg and you could be making... Oh, I didn't make it until you keep... Okay. Until you have three. I'll make it four now. We've got another person in. At the same time, we'll make that eight because we now have four people in the colony. That makes more sense. I just missed out the little button, that's all. Barry is uh, seeking medical, being given medical attention. What is Barry, uh, what are your thoughts at? Okay, I'm going to give you that leg now because we have no idea of knowing if you'll uh, join without it. So, oop. Okay, let's find out what leg is missing before we start shoving a leg on. You are missing a right leg. So we install a right peg leg. Uh, who's our best doctor? I don't want to make a mistake in this one. Doctoring. 
of eight and seven. Okay, Alex, I know you're making a meal, but any chance you could uh, go pop a peg leg on this guy? And they got a bit of wood around, so that should be fine. How much wood does it take anyway? We have 23 wood here. And you take one. So it takes one piece of wood for a leg. That's not bad, actually. You bury his leg back. And health. Oop, health. Come on. Peg leg. You got a bite scar. That's not going to do too bad for you, though. And you'll be up anywhere to get your own little bed up here now. Might have to give him a light bulb just to keep him happy if he uh, needs it. Uh, everyone's get on with their daily jobs. That's not too bad, actually. Everyone's uh, progressing quite nicely in this colony. We've got beds. Daniel uh, will soon be on the inside when he gets his door up. Uh, the other two need quite a lot of work doing, but uh, we need materials. Actually, materials, what would we have a set? Uh, I'm making sandstone, I believe it is. It is sandstone. And we do have any sandstone in the area? We do not. Which explains why we're not getting sandstone. So, orders. Hall. Sandstone. Sandstone and sandstone. And sandstone. That's all local sandstone to be hauled. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly grab Alex and say, hey, do the favour. Sandstone. Grab that block away, please. And that one there. That, that's it. There's no more for you. You can go and do it immediately. You can go and grab that one. And Daniel is doing a bit of wardening. Here we go. We have a new person. We have Barry. So I think it's great that the last thing we do in the episode will be actually to name our new colonists. Now, before we do, what are you actually wearing? Character. Gear. Okay, you actually have pants on. That is it. And the awful pants at that. And no weapon. So first thing to do is give you your little shift back. We need to uh, prioritize weapons. And we need clothing. We have no clothing at all for new colonists. So we need to give you guys some stuff. But we need a name for Barry now. Let's look at the uh, list of subscribers. And Barry, where are you hiding? Oh, there you are. Barry. Uh, character? Yes. Your name will be... Da, 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 da. Corey. Uh, H A U G A. Oh, good, it'll fit. Corey, hoi, Corey, yeah, Corey. Hello. I won't even try the last name. I'll, I'll make. I'll make a mistake. Yeah, I will make horrible mistakes with names. I make apologizes ahead of time, but it will happen. It will happen at all. Actually, probably. We have people. Daniel, hold on, yeah. And why do you have? Well, because I can't change the first and last names. I can only have the, I can only have the uh, thingy names. Okay, well it's only fair. With each person, we'll do the full. There we go. And there we go. That's just fair for everybody to have the full names on. Alyssa K is just Alyssa K because that's all we have in the subscriber list. So fair enough. Everyone's got the full names on now. Everyone be happy. Uh, we really need to get uh, Corey a shirt. But you are... Oh, actually, let's look at your stats as well. We didn't really didn't look at that. We'll look at the stats. Fight, fighting, impatient, uh, um, controlling. They're high. Mining. I could do with mine, actually. Uh, and someone to haul. Uh, crafting's pretty decent. Two on crafting. Uh, plant cutting. i put it on one. If I want something cut, I want it cutting soon. Growing should be... Yeah, those... Ooh. There we go. If I actually do them, do them now. There we go. That's everything set up priority-wise. It does seem to be doing quite well for us at the moment. I think we'd have to start working on some... Uh... Yeah, we have to start working... Ooh, get that back into a normal colonist beds. There we go. We're going to have to start working on some tailoring soon because we actually have no uh, clothing for people if we come down and we need it. Plus also these people, if you've not noticed, under gear... The actual clothes wear down now, which is great. It means you actually have a need for making clothing. So, with our new colonist, Corey on site, we'll say, uh, probably get a place to live it. So, as usual, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you next time. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Thank you.